Hey, what's up? So Mercury in the ninth house. Now you might want to check the intro video before or after. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm sure if you got Mercury in the ninth, you could just play with energy currents like that, and eh, the order doesn't really matter as much. Um, because it's really a flow of consciousness, a stream of fire which you are following, or you really it's an arrow that has been shot. And, you, you know, uh, ninth house, which is linked to the Sagittarius energy, which is the reason why I'm making that analogy. Uh, you know, Sagittarius is a really good archer. They're able to aim at something big and kind of get and expand on what it is they want to expand just by following this certain energy. So if you've landed here, uh, welcome. <laughs> and you could just go and look a little bit later in the intro if you want to. Um, so yeah, Mercury in the ninth house. So right here, you know, Mercury kind of is of the opposite energy than that of the ninth house, uh, because it is linked to Gemini and Virgo, which, you know, if you're looking at a chart, let's say you got Sag here, you got Gemini opposite to it, and you would have Virgo here. So you got this, uh, <laughs> this T-square, you know, so they're all energy that I kind of yeah, they're kind of pulling on each other. So Mercury in the ninth, where the ninth house kind of likes to expand on the bigger picture of things. Uh, maybe not expand on the bigger picture of things, but uh, they kind of they, they kind of want to see things from a bird's eye view. You know, the ninth house is at the top of the chart. If you're looking at the sky, most likely you're looking up there. You know, if you're looking at like above you, you're either looking at the 10th house, which is more reminiscent of status, or the 9th house, which is where the energy is as the sun is kind of getting ready to be up there at the zenith. Uh, so it's really an energy that expands. It's something that other people see, and that you see yourself. So when something is up there, it kind of gives it a bird's eye view. And you're putting the planet of details of little of curiosity in the house of a broader perspective. So you might actually be curious about things that will help you understand the bigger picture. So the way that your energy could be brought into reality, the, the way you communicate and unify ideas could be as much as it's trying to see the bigger picture, you can almost get stuck in the little details of things. Or if you're trying to see the little details of things, you could almost get stuck in a too broad sense of the energetic, energetic flow of things, um, if that makes sense. So perhaps you're trying to understand something, but you're getting lost in the details. Perhaps you're trying to uh, understand the details, but you're not able to narrow down your perspective. Now that's one way of seeing it. Um, it could also be that you're really interested in everything of philosophy. So you could be reading, it could be um, really your way of expanding and following this energetic thread of energy that is really kind of like an external feeling almost is going to be through unifying and communicating ideas. So you might really benefit from... Um, so yeah, I, I didn't even know what I was going to say, but you might really benefit from really following where your mind takes you and not trying to see too much how you could be wrong, but to be more optimistic about your your train of thought. And at the same time, maybe you'll be too optimistic. See, because Sagittarius or Ninth House is really a dualistic energy. So it's really about bringing the two fiery currents into a state which enables you to use them to your best interest without spending too much energy or without being too lazy. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Mercury in the ninth. I'm sure I could say something else. Let me see how I can expand on that. You might be you might be a good actor actually, or so if you're able to portray your mind in such a way that you'll be able to spark a certain inspiration in other people, that would be good. That's what I had to say about Mercury in the night. I won't try to dig too deep. Have fun.